Kyiv's punitive forces continue massive bombardments of villages and cities on Donbas. On August 19, a small town Makeevka near Donetsk was shelled. According to the recent reports, three people were killed, dozens of people were wounded. It is reported that local hospitals are full of the injured. Beside this, the technical railway station underwent strong attacks. Polish farmers are ready to protest if the EU does not pay damages caused by the restrictive measures from Russia on import of food products. It was stated by the chairman of the trade union of individual farmers of the country, Vladislav Serafin. It seems Poland has no idea that sanctions are the mutual thing. According to the media reports, computers of the officials investigating the disappearance of the flight MH370 in early March has been attacked by unknown hacker. A source in the security forces among those whose computer data were stolen, there are employees of the Department of Civil Aviation and the National Security Board of Malaysia Airlines. On August 19, there were appeared videos where the group of Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant captured the moment of the execution of an American journalist, James Foley. The reporter was telling the last word, after which he was beheaded. The reaction of the international community is still unknown, but there is no doubt the condemnation of the actions of the Eagle militias. At the same time, systematic murders of journalists by pro-Kiev forces during the so-called anti-terrorist operation in Donbas are knowingly ignored by the international community.